Frozen shoulder and menopause, why are we still not talking about this? Did you catch Amy Poehler's recent Good Hang podcast where she's interviewing Michelle Obama and both women admit to having frozen shoulder in their 50s? Really good sleeper. I don't Side know. sleeper, back sleeper? Side sleeper. Okay, got and it. now yeah, I'm at the age where I'll wake up and my shoulder's sore. Don't get me started. I had frozen shoulder a couple years oh, ago. Oh, you had the frozen shoulder. And guess what? Nobody knows old. what causes it, and there's nothing you can do about it. You know? Like every ailment for women in their 50s, it's they're just like, old. They're like, yeah, I guess it just hurts. And it's like, how long is it going to hurt? And they're like, I guess forever. This is simply not true, and it's a huge problem. I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen, a double board certified OBGYN and reproductive endocrinologist, and I want to teach you about frozen shoulder and menopause. Why? Because the drop in estrogen associated with menopause can be associated with impacts on joint health, connective tissue, and inflammation. All of these can contribute to a diagnosis of frozen shoulder. So it's not random, it's not rare, and it's not untreatable. Some suggest that estrogen replacement therapy and perimenopause can prevent frozen shoulder. If you're diagnosed, treatment can include physical therapy, corticosteroid shots, and in rare cases, surgery. What's upsetting to me is if two intelligent, powerful women with incredible access to medical care are actually believing that there's no reason for frozen shoulder in their 50s, there's no treatment, and they just have to live in pain, that's a problem. Let's change the conversation. Let's normalize talking about menopause and a lot of the symptoms that come along with it because the more we know, the more we can prevent, the more we can treat, and the more we can help each other.